welcome back <laughs> to another episode of Contract Kitchen. It looks different. We're in a parking lot. We're at Goodwill. So this week we are putting together a little tea party and we're bringing you along with us. So you can have your own tea party if you want and get in the spirit of Mother's Day, springtime. So we're gonna take you with us and we are gonna set up a tea party for less than $100. We're gonna try our best. Hey, I love the color of this one, but they're too small. Oh, yeah. He's so funky. Oh, look at this one. Yeah, this is so much. We spent $16 on one, two, three, four items. And we did a cash donation of four cents. A lot more successful trip than yeah. either of us were expecting. We thought that it was gonna take at least a couple Goodwills to find what at we least. wanted. And we walked in and like the second shelf we went to, we were like, well, we're, we're good. Done. <laughs> so a lot less Goodwill footage than what we were anticipating, just but we're just being really efficient with our time. So yes. on to the next. We're back in the kitchen now. We've done our errands. We went to Goodwill and we picked up some tea thing stuff. <laughs> and we went to AJ's that was yeah. not filmed because it was crazy in there. Holy moly. But we have some sweet treats that will be brought out. But now we're just getting ready because our tea party is this afternoon. So we're gonna prep our sandwiches so we can get ready and then we'll get ready and then we'll come back. We have a couple of different sandwiches. We're gonna do a cucumber cream cheese mix classic mm -hmm. sandwich and we're gonna have this cute little cookie cutter to make them circular. And then we're gonna do an egg salad sandwich. And we have some deviled eggs too, cause. Why not? Eggs, you know? Love them. We love them. <laughs> did you do a lot of tea partying growing up? I did a little bit of tea partying growing up. I remember I would go to my grandma's house all the time and she we would have Kool-Aid tea parties. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> or do you remember those juice? I think they still make them maybe. Mm. The juice bottles that look like little jugs. Yeah. So yeah. we would make, um, we would use that juice and do tea parties with Cute. that. And my family loves a good tea party. Adorable. So, well, it is a family of all ladies. Yes. Except for dad. We've done many a tea party. We're gonna use the fancy fun scalloped edge too. Mm. I don't know if you can tell from here. Cause we want a little flowers. Yeah. The whole reason that we wanted to do a tea party is one, we both have like tea parties in our childhood that were yes. super significant. Mine was like all the tea parties in my childhood were some of my most significant happy memories. Yeah. Uh, and it's springtime by the time this episode comes out. Yeah. And what's, I would love to have a little tea party with friends. I was gonna say, what about you with tea parties? Like, did, did you have a lot of, you say your happiest memories. Is there one that stands out the most? Or? We had this family friend named Mrs. Harris who had the most incredible house in um, the central Phoenix district. So oh. where we were yesterday around AJ's. Yeah. Uh, and it was a huge, like couple acres house with a big barn in the backyard, a big uh, pig shed. She had a pig named Miss Piggy, a big pot belly pig. Not Miss Piggy, Sissy Pig. Sissy Pig. Sissy Pig, we would go feed her our leftovers every day. And Mrs. Harris was, her love language was like hospitality and giving and time spent with people. Yeah. And she was an amazing cook. Uh, and I don't know, she was from our, my parents' church and had a relationship with my mom and then therefore had a relationship with me mm -hmm. and didn't have, she had two boys that were grown out of the house yeah. um, when I was a kiddo and she always wanted a little girl. So I just remember having these tea parties at Mrs. Harris's house where I learned how to like make scones, make Aww. tea, do a place setting, like, you know, homesteady kind of things. Yeah. But she was just such a little bright light in my world back then. How cute. And I just have delightful memories with her. Have you done a high tea as, a, as an adult? Not as an adult. I have, I would like to. I've done quite a few teas in my lifetime though because my mom is a very big tea person. Yeah. So, and that was always like 
not always, but a common like Mother's Day, yeah. spring, Easter, whatever type thing. Shower. My bridal shower was a tea party. So yeah, I feel like we've done teas for everything. And my mom turned 60 this year, and so my dad threw her six teas for her birthday. <laughs> they came out to Arizona shortly after, and I took her for her seventh tea. To, the one for good luck. Yeah, to to daydream about the the next decade and oh, nice. to celebrate her a little bit more. I just need a little taste test. Yeah, I want to taste it too. Ooh, I don't want this big of a bite, but mm -hmm. is it good? Yeah, that's great. That's the best part about tea parties. You get a little little munchy as you go through. I've done a couple high teas. The most recent I did with friends in Victoria, Canada. Oh. So fun. We went to this like special house in Victoria that does them, does mm -hmm. like the legitimate high teas where it takes like two, three hours. Yeah. But it didn't feel like two, three hours. It sped through and they had the perfect little like bite-sized sandwiches, different kinds of flavors, yeah. different kinds of toppings. You got this whole like tea service to like choose what you wanted. And then there was the dessert service, which was Ugh. actually insane. I have photos I'll show you. Yes. But like the most incredibly beautifully designed petite fours and like just bite-sized sweets. So, oh, so we fun. should go to a tea. Oh, I would love that. The Phoenician. Our friend Tiffany. Who was on Hi. one of our last episodes? Yes, she saw. just did the tea, the high tea at the Phoenician here I wonder in Arizona. Where she went. Oh, uh, put it on your bucket list. Yes, for sure. Next, I egg love salad it. sandwiches. Yeah, we're gonna do a different shape. We're gonna do little triangles, I think. Cute. And I think we should cut the crusts off. Oh, absolutely. That is very appropriate. Yeah. yeah. I did this backwards. That's okay. I just made shapes. That's okay. Of spreading. We can do that here. Little dollops. Yeah. Do you like to drink tea? I want to be, I feel like seasonal. Yeah. I drink way more tea in Washington because it's always cold. Yes. And tea is one of those things, like a hot shower makes me feel super warm if I'm freezing. Tea also does the trick too. Ooh yeah. That looks delicious. Do you, are you like a cold tea or hot tea person? I think I more regularly will drink cold tea. Yeah. I love ordering iced tea at restaurants, that kind of thing, especially in Arizona. Arizona always has better iced tea than anywhere I've lived. Really? Oh yeah. Washington does not know how to make iced tea. I did also go through a big high tea, <laughs> a big tea phase in like the beginning of college. Yeah. And I think it's in Boulder, Colorado, mm -hmm. the Celestial mm -hmm. Seasonings Factory. Yeah, they're factory. headquartered there. And you can do a tour through their factory. You get to go through and see how all the teas are made. And so fun. I imagined it to be more Willy Wonka-esque. <laughs> um, like a bear would just come out and greet you. Yes, and, yeah. and everyone talks about the peppermint room. Peppermint has to be stored in its own specific room because otherwise oh. it will make all the other teas peppermint That makes sense, yeah. So in my mind, I'm imagining <laughs> giant peppermint sticks and like <laughs> this just theatrical theatrical place. Yeah. It's very much a warehouse. Dang it. Okay, we can do this a little easier this time around. Look at that. Much better. We did buy some of our sweet treats, but we did make scones as well. Which we taste tested. Which we had to quality, quality check. Control. But we made a cranberry white chocolate scone. Yeah, that was your a family recipe, right? A family recipe. So cute. Yeah. My dad has made them most often, but on the recipe card, it's actually my aunt and uncle's recipe. Oh, cute, okay. So we're just bringing all the family recipes to Contract Kitchen. Yes. And we also made a mock Devonshire cream to be able to dip or spread on the scone too. Yes. Really, my favorite part will be the setup and decorating. Yes. Which we bought some flowers yes. from the old Fry's Marketplace. Kelly got a cute little tablecloth from the Turgit. Yes. And yeah, we'll just have fun. I love a tea setting that is eclectic and like a I mixture of different colors and different textures. So it doesn't have to be perfection. Whenever I'm eating something, mm -hmm. I will pick and choose and eat my least favorite thing first yeah. so that I can save my favorite thing 
for last. For the last bite. Tea party wise, what would be like the first thing you're grabbing versus mm. the last thing you're grabbing? I want to get through all of the smoked salmon meats first. Yes. Not a big smoked person, but I'm going to eat it to be polite. Yeah. And to also try something new because you never know. Maybe I'll go to a place and they will finally make the smoked salmon sandwich that I will adore. Uh, you never know. You never know. Those look amazing. Oh my goodness. They're a little messy. Hey. But made with love. <laughs> Absolutely. And I licked my finger because I had um, extra on there. So now I'm not touching anything. Extra love. Yeah. Oh dear. Through the magic of editing. It'll be amazing. <laughs> you clean up good, Carlin. Thank you. <laughs> We're refreshed. Mm. We're ready in our tea party attire. And now we can start assembling our station so for setup yeah. i like to get the biggest things out there first so that you have yeah. your weighted things all around you these are our little cakes oh. Oh. Nice. how cute and these are the cookies that we got at aj's yes Look at how cute these little spring flowers are. Oh my goodness. Just wanted lots of color. I like to open my roses like so. So they flop out a little bit. This one was cut off, but it doesn't mean that it can go to waste. We'll just put it with something else. And these are our cute little Teacups we got at the Goodwill. Cute. <laughs> I love it. Okay. So fun. So, I think we should pour ourselves a little cup of tea. Because we worked for it. Because we earned it. Mm. Thank you. It's a slow pour. Ladylike. Yeah. Lady never rushes for her tea. Mm -mm. That's. What I've always said. <laughs> you crack me up. What do you want to try first? Oh my gosh. There's so much. I don't even know where to begin. I kind of want to try one of your double I was going to say, eggs. I want a deviled egg really bad. Cheers. Ah. Thanks for a tea party, yeah. ma'am. That's a good deviled egg. My friend. So we'll put easy. the recipe for that in the description. Yeah. Mmm. Bravo. A sandwich. That was good. Mm. Now, we should split a scone and try the Devonshire cream. Yeah. Oh, oh dang. <laughs> oh my god. That's way too much, but I don't care. I'm also putting a good serving size on, but never enough. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm hmm It's like really fancy whipped cream. Yeah. I don't mm -hmm. think this is a success. I think so too. I don't know if we have We're gonna get through all of it. Um no, we need way more friends. <laughs> yeah. Which is why you should like and subscribe to this video. Yes. Because we have so much more coming. Lots of ideas and great little little hundred dollar parties. Yeah. Up Less your sleeve. Than. Less than. Where's the ticker? Is it over here? We spent this much. <laughs> yeah. mm. Thank you for so good. making a little party with me. Yeah. I'm playing in the springtime. Anytime. Happy to. Thanks for coming to this episode <laughs> of Contract Kitchen. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. So hot. It is so hot. <laughs> <laughs>